Hello there and good morning, just. Now it looks like the procedural cards are being stacked for Parliament to be forced to accept Theresa May's Brexit in name only checkers deal. Firstly, a top civil servant has today confirmed that Theresa May can ignore motions passed by MPs that back alternative Brexit plans. The Clerk of the Commons, Sir David Natzler, has given evidence to the Brexit Committee that the government has no statutory obligation whatsoever to pay any attention to motions that backed a different approach to Brexit. Basically, the government can just keep pushing its own, and at the moment that's the checkers based deal through even if there was a majority vote in support of something else like a Norway or Canada based option. When asked on this by Tory Brexiteer MP John Whittingdale, he said, The House may come out in favour of, I don't know, of Canada plus plus or Norway minus, and all sorts of things. Does the government then have to go and renegotiate? No, it then tries to get its principal motion through with whatever it is proposing to the House. And he further confirmed that none of those non-statutory votes would be binding on the government unless they were amendments to actual statutes. So the administrative procedures are lined up, but there are a couple of hurdles. First, Chequers has to be accepted by the EU, and then the resultant inevitably watered-down proposal would have to be peddled successfully in Westminster. This is where the fear factor comes in. At the end of the day, the e EU is as fearful of a no-deal as some of our establishment are. As the former Brexit Secretary David Davies said, speaking at the Institute of Economic Affairs, Terror will win. The fear of no deal, I think. We haven't had a chance to talk about it much, but I think that's an irrational fear of no deal or WTO deal. That will win, and there will be a deal. It may take two passes. There may be a deal agreed in Brussels and fails in Westminster and comes back again it may take two passes. Now that's not what Brexiteers want to hear, especially from a leading Brexiteer. We now need to hear how terrible Theresa May's Chequers-based Brexit in name only deal really is. If it's going to be Chequers or no deal, then we should be really winding up for the final push for a proper no deal WTO exit from the European Union. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.